Hi everyone, it's Chris, aka Taka again, and I'm doing a little bit more of revealing my toy collection. And I found that third box of advertising toys, and I grabbed the box marked cartoon character toys. So, again, another longer video. Um, I'm sure at least one or two of you will enjoy this. Um, otherwise, it's just really good documenting for me as to reviewing which toys I already have, and maybe making a list from these videos eventually. Um, but this will be the a lot of toys where you didn't know they even had advertising stuff for them in this form. Um, so, a simple Teddy Graham's bear, you know, graham cracker shaped in bears, kind of makes sense to just keep it simple. So, that's one. Again, I have a bear collection within my advertising collection. And then his friend, chocolate chip flavor. They came together. Then I have a Dole Pineapple, and this is Pinellope Pineapple. Not Penelope, Pinellope. Here's a more famous one. The Velasic Stork for the pickles. This cute little hat. He is actually really, like, missing beans or something, or they cheated and didn't add enough beans to him because he won't even stand up. Um, then we have a lender bagel guy with a hole right through the middle. Some of these I, I usually get per quarter because there are things people are like, why the hell would you want that? Um, but this is Buddy Bagel. And... Here's another cereal guy. Here's Coco the monkey for Coco uh, Puffs. He's actually kind of a bigger one. And he has the weirdest feet. They are huge in comparison to his body. And here we have the NBC Peacock. And it is an official one, according to its tag. But the fun rainbow effect is nice, too. Then we have a gummy bear pal in orange. I think this is the only one I own. But it's cute. I think I might have a blue one, but I think I sent that to New York for Rita's bear collection. Here's another of the dull fruits. This is Ponce Papaya. Again, ones you never knew they had characters for. And here is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup one. You might remember the other day, other week I picked up a, a figural one that looked kind of like this, but was just the Hershey bar. And, oh, it looks like little Rue from Winnie the Pooh hopped in this box. As I said, they're kind of gotten mixed up over the years. This one's kind of really cool. It's a puppet, and it's for Fidelity. And on this side, you get the bull for, you know, Fidelity, like, playing the stock market. And then it flips inside out and becomes the bear market. So I thought that was really cool. Because how many toys do you get two in one like that? But I like the bull side better. <laughs> And I mentioned this in my Loot Crate video. This is the Arby's oven mitt. And I left it still sealed so I wouldn't think it was a real oven mitt. Because it says right on the package, do not use, not a real oven mitt. Besides, you'd ruin him then. And this is one of the ones where, you know, a company was like, let's just, you know, order a bunch of toys that look like our mascot and put a shirt on them. So this is for Jaguar, but it's for, uh, of Troy, uh, Jaguar of Troy. And we have a Napo, uh, gold filters guy. Told you, I got some weird ones in here. Oh, there's the chocolate golden gra Teddy Grahams there. 
Then this one is something I actually won from the website. It's advertising, which is treeloot.com. Anyone remember that from about a decade or so ago? It had like this tree you kept clicking on and to find things, and I got sent this. Little boxer monkey there. Uh, a Hershey's Hugs Kiss, because it's the multiple swirled one. Oh, it's by Teddy's Friends. Really cute label, actually. like the detail on that. This one's a little different. This is uh, from Inkcell.com. And it's their little dog mascot, but it's actually to clean your laptop screen or your computer screen. So he just did a little work for me. I, again, saw one of these in the other video the other day. This is number 44, and again, I don't know if I have repeats or not at this point for the sheep. They're like the Wells Fargo horses. I almost can't resist them when I find them. Um, so this is number 44, and this one's the uh, number 75 pink uh, for cancer, breast cancer research one. So it's number 75 for the 75th anniversary. Most of them have blue eyes, but some of them do have green eyes. We'll get into them. Again, really trying to clip along here. Here's a tire one for Tires Plus. It's kind of like got boxing gloves on for some apparent reason. But it's for uh, Tuffy. His name's Tuffy. His hat's a little faded, but it's Tuffy. Yeah, <sighs> trying to put all my uh, weird uh, medicine ones to the side. Uh, this one I actually got at the actual restaurant. This is from Texas Roadhouse. It's their armadillo. The Texas Roadhouse armadillo. He's very cute in actuality. He's got this really cool cap on. Try and hold it still for you to actually see the thing. So he's Andy the Armadillo. Um, this one's actually for a medication, but he's such a cute little monster bug. I believe it's for a sleep medication. He doesn't have a tag on him anymore, but it's for, you know, a sleeping pill. But I, I just thought he's adorable. Then we got a Jayco Blue Jay. There's the tennis shoes details, the laces. I have a still sealed little Caesar guy. Haven't bothered unsealing him yet. And I do love that he comes with a slice of pizza in there for himself to eat. But it's that classical Caesar guy. Don't mind me trying to toss some back into a tote. Um, another weird medi medicine one, although it's another sleeping medication. This is Ambien Sue, I believe. But it says the Ambien right on there. Just kind of a funny one I, I found at some point. This one's actually pretty hilarious. This is Roxanne for Family Pharmacy. Um... And I think she's a hot water bottle. Again, got some strange ones in here. Oh, this one's a Nestle peanut butter nutty chip. I fix its clowny outfit. I don't know why peanut butter becomes a clown, but that's what they did for their chip family characters. Uh, this is a 1984 thing from Nestle. One day my dream is to actually have a museum where I can display all these. Because I won't be like the uh, character museum where it has to be specific, like the t Crash Test Dummy, Daryl. And what's really funny is just in case you weren't sure, they spelled it out on the back. I don't think I have the other one, but um, I just 
find it funny, but uh, there is an advertising character museum, but they only give guys that were created for that. But then I have a bunch of cartoon characters that I know do commercials for other products. Uh, one of the hardest working cartoon characters is the Pink Panther. Um, okay, this you might not recognize, especially if you're from where I'm from, because this is from Commerce, which is now TD Bank. Um, but when I lived in New York, this was my bank. And I still have my TD account that I converted into in case I ever get back for a vacation. But it's been about five years since I went there. Um, but we, Rita and I literally had to hound the guy because these were decorating their Christmas tree um, that I would really love one for my collection. And you had to be there the day they took the tree down. And Rita got there because she got up early. So, that was that one. This is one of my favorites. It's for Aflac, but it's the Aflac goat commercial one. There's only one Aflac. And so, see this? He's got a little bill to put over his nose to pretend to be the Aflac duck. There's only one Aflac! Yeah, in general, I don't get toys that say things, but for the advertising ones, I do. This one I know I picked up when I was rummaging Green Bay. It's kind of weird how you can remember where some of them come from and some of them are. All right. This is an Edmunds limited edition uh, bean bag uh, cupcake with sprinkles. I just thought it was really cute. Okay, here's one of my favorite Serta sheep. It's 1 16th, so it's a fraction, so it's a baby sheep. This one has blue eyes. We have the cute little pacifier in its mouth, and it's fabric. Don't know if you can tell that. And he's got his own little tag that says, Parents out of work thanks to Serta <laughs> on his tag. So he's complaining that his parents are broke. I actually saw this one at St. Vinny's the other day. This is for American Care Car Centers. It's an American eagle with a mask on, so he's like a superhero. But he's got his wings, thumbs up kind of thing going on. And then this is really cute. This is the Dairy Fairy, which I believe was for Kraft. Yep, Kraft Singles Dairy Fairy. And let's see, a year no, it doesn't, but. This was big about a decade ago, too, I think. But one of those things where you're looking through toy boxes and you don't realize what they are until you actually maybe look at the tag. I'm going to find all of those. If you don't know who this is, you, you didn't grow up in the 80s. Or, or this is the crime dog, McGruff. And I love that his pants are plaid. A little bit of detail there, and it's real metal on his belt. His belt really acts like a belt, and it snaps. So, and like any good hound, they go up like crazy. <laughs> but, come on, gotta have gruff. Alright, this was also a pink surge sheet, but it's number three, so 75. But still funding cancer research. Um, we make the world's best mattresses, and this is supports cancer research. They have little tags on them, like collars. Um, and then this one is the eczema beast. Anyone with skin issues will feel the red beast attacking them. But one, I had to have it because it was a cu cute monster. I love monsters. <sighs> Okay, I suppose we can... Oh, here's the Mrs. Tire for Team Tires Plus. We saw her uh, husband earlier. Look at that. High heels and lace. That's hilarious. And the giant red lips. Ah. No, no falling in the box. No falling in the box. And number 86, which might have been a repeat. I don't know yet. But out of work, thanks to Serta.
And then, okay, that has a partner, which will be in here. There we are. These are chickens. They are authentic foster imposter chickens. This is the passenger. And then this says it's the driver. So apparently, at one point, they're supposed to be in a car. They look pretty alike to me, though. Um, but that's why I guess they came with tag protectors. Oops, fall down. Here's another one of the Nestle chocolate chips. This one is a little bite. Uh, again, from 1984. Female one with a bow. And here's my Cadbury bunny. Apparently it made noise at one point. There's something bo voice box in there or something. Mm. Oh, here's another dull fruit. Here's Cranston Cranberry. I just love his baseball hat. That's so cute. And then we have a tag along Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> and a peep bunny. Who knows? There might even be a other tag one in here. Okay. Getting to the bottom of this one. Here's a Jelly Belly Jelly Bean, which actually has one of those things off of it. And getting on to some medicine ones. This is a, a Mr. Congestion for one of the nasal sprays, I believe. Let's see if it's on the tag. It's not, but anyone with bad sinuses like me knows how that feels. Then this one's kind of cool. This is a monk, a Franciscan monk. I think he actually has a tag, an official tag. General Secretariat of the Franciscan Missions. Again, I told you, I click lots of stuff. All right, um, got a few hush puppies for hush puppy shoes. These two are old school 80s ones because they're actually from my childhood. Actually, this one's from my childhood. I think this one I picked up later. One or the other, but... And then, here are some modern ones. Oh, someone just jumped to the floor. So, a nice brown one, a light tan one, and a green one. And I think in another box there's probably a pinkish one, a maroon one. I, I know I bought, bought a whole bunch at once. They give them individual names, I wonder. No, they don't. All right. And for some of the weird medicine ones, these are all body organs. And they're for Aptos um, medications. And some of them they had weird noses to. This one's a stomach, I believe. My brain isn't functioning to say which organs they are. Um, but that's literally all of that. Um, I think I'll break here and split the video into each tote because 40 minutes is a long time. So thanks for watching this part, which was mostly advertising. And next, I'll put up cartoons. So stay tuned.